So being an MRT to me is all about compassion and being a very central part of the healthcare team. It's about using your drive and your compassion towards creating a sense of reassurance and security in your patients. Um, helping patients every day with their treatment and care. Just trying to provide the best service as possible. Being an MRT means to me that I get to work with my patients during one of the most difficult times of their lives. And it's just such a great feeling when a patient tells you that they requested to have their scan done at your site because of past experience. And that just lets me know that um, I'm really making a difference and making them more comfortable with whatever predicament they're in. Being able to help those who are often going through a very challenging time, that is something I work very hard at doing in my job. And being able to build a rapport with these, these people and hopefully have a positive impact on their day, that's something I take a lot of pride in doing. We are essential to the care of almost every patient who enters any healthcare facility, whether you're working in x-ray, CT, nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, MRI. Being an MRT to me is pride, and I take pride in what we do every single day. Hello, I'm Diane D'Amico, and on behalf of Johnson Insurance, it is our honor to be the title sponsor for the CMRT 2021 Celebration of Excellence. Johnson has been the preferred home and car insurance provider to CMRT members since 2002 and we truly value our partnership. During these challenging times, car and home insurance should be the last thing you have to worry about. You can depend on Johnson to help make things easier with our caring and compassionate service. For over 30 years, Johnson has worked with healthcare professionals, providing quality insurance at an affordable price with special services just for you. On behalf of Johnson Insurance, thank you and we look forward to continuing to support the healthcare community. We have prepared a video for you today. Please enjoy. It is now my absolute pleasure to introduce Jennifer Carey, CMRT President. Hello everyone, bonjour mes amis. It is great to be with you. Wow, the last year has been a time and I know that we're all tired. We've definitely got some COVID fatigue going on and I know that in these moments, it's really easy to focus on that fatigue, but I'm really happy to be here today to be able to share with you some positive things and to highlight the accomplishments of our colleagues. Today, it's my great honor and pleasure to share our presentation of the CMRT 2021 award winners. One of the most important roles of the National Association is to bring members together to recognize the best of the MRT profession. One of the greatest privileges I personally have as CMRT president is to recognize the outstanding contributions of my colleagues and to share their outstanding contributions with all of you. This year, we are proud to present a number of awards to a group of MRTs from across the country. We wish we could be holding our celebration of excellence reception in person in Ottawa but we hope to welcome the recipients to join us 
in Vancouver next year at the CMRT 2022. So being an MRT really has allowed me to be an integral part of so many lives and the chance to be able to bring a smile to a nervous or tired patient on a rough day, it really does bring me a lot of joy. That I can provide the most compassionate and the safest and kindest care that I possibly can. So oh, I am a leader in my profession and what made me interested in that was working as an MRT over many, many years um, and looking to see where else my career could go. I ended up getting on this board early in my career, um, which then parlayed into a lot of different opportunities um, to volunteer within the profession. That ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be a part of the healthcare team. It's something that has inspired me so much. In late August of 2008 uh, was my first day as an MRT student at Red River College in Winnipeg. And it was also the day that I met the person that would eventually become my wife. Our first set of awards are the CMRT Awards of Excellence. These awards are presented annually to the newly certified MRTs who obtain the highest marks on their certification examination. There is an award for each of the disciplines and thank you to our Awards of Excellence sponsors, Bracco Imaging Canada, Advanced Accelerator Applications, and Insight Medical Imaging. The Award of Excellence by Magnetic Resonance is sponsored by Bracco Imaging Canada. This year's winner is Karen Chang Q, RTR, RTMR, from Cambrian College in Sudbury, Ontario. Thank you so much for this. Uh, it really is an honor to receive this award. Graduating and writing your national exams throughout a pandemic had its challenges, so I really do commend everyone who wrote it and made it through last year. Congratulations, Karen. What an achievement. The Award of Excellence for Nuclear Medicine is sponsored by Advanced Accelerator Applications. We have a tie this year, so congratulations to Christopher Kretzky, RTNM, and Siobhan Pett, RTNM, who are both from the Southern Alberta Institute of Technology in Calgary. Thank you. I would just like to thank the CAMRT Association for giving me this award. Um, very nice to be recognized for this. Um, put in a lot of hard work. And I'd just like to thank all my teachers and classmates at SAIT that made the experience so easy. Thank you so much for recognizing me with this award. The past two years have been um, a life-changing experience and studying for the CAMRT was very time-consuming and difficult and I couldn't have got here without my instructors at SAIT, uh, the support of my classmates and of course my family who supported me all the way through. Congratulations Christopher and Siobhan, your hard hard work has paid off. The Award of Excellence for Radiation Therapy, this year's winner is Matthew Atchison, RTT from the Michener Institute, University of Toronto program. Thank you very much for presenting me with this award. It's really exciting and it really is an honor to be acknowledged for this accomplishment. Um, definitely worked very hard and, and uh, I'm really excited to be working in the field now. So thank you again. Congratulations, Matthew. You should be very proud. The Award of Excellence for Radiological Technology is sponsored by Insight Medical Imaging. This year's winner is Bisma Khan, RTR from the Mohawk College McMaster University program in Hamilton, Ontario. So firstly, I want to thank all of my clinical leaders and all my professors that allowed me to build the foundations that led me to where I am today. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Um, secondly, I just want to give a huge shout out to all the MRTs that have been working through these tough times, <laughs> we all know that it hasn't been a smooth sail, but I just want to say I'm extremely proud to be a part of a team that is so determined and focused and that come into work every day with a huge smile on their faces. And I just want to say thank you to everyone for doing what they've been doing. Congratulations, Bisma. This is a huge accomplishment. Our next set of awards are the CMRT Honorary Awards. These awards are presented to members at the pinnacle of the profession in a number of categories. The winners, in fact, all of the nominees, 
demonstrate a level of commitment and achievement in the profession that do the CAMRT proud. The Early Professional Achievement Award is bestowed to honor a member of the CMRT who, at an early stage in their career, inspires and leads their colleagues by acting as a role model. The CMRT is pleased to present this award to Jonathan Bauer from Nova Scotia. Jonathan is a nuclear medicine technologist working for Nova Scotia Health in Halifax. He currently works as a PET CT system super user. Right from an early age in his career, Jonathan became deeply involved in volunteering for his National Professional Association, serving in numerous capacities on many education and advocacy committees, as well as on the board of directors and on the CMRT Foundation. In addition to his volunteer work, Jonathan has been instrumental in the development of a safety guide for a new multidiscipline therapeutic intervention procedure and instructional guides for PET and PET CT. He has also collaborated or co-authored a number of research projects and articles. Setting a high standard for his chosen profession and himself, he has sought and continues to seek to improve his ethical and leadership capabilities through education. He shares his knowledge through presenting at professional conferences and through effective communication and mentoring of students encouraging them to get involved not only with their profession but also with their professional associations. It is an impressive beginning to what is sure to be a long career of professional achievements and giving back to the profession. First of all I want to say thank you to the CMRT for this uh, wonderful award, the Early Professional Achievement Award. I'm surprised but I'm excited to receive this recognition. I must say it's truly been a pleasure over the years to volunteer um, with the CMRT and meet so many wonderful uh, professionals in our fields from across the country. Um, I honestly do believe that I have gained more through volunteering than I've had to give out. So again, I just want to say thank you for uh, recognizing me in this manner. Congratulations, Jonathan. The Dr. Marshall Mallet Lamp of Knowledge Award was established in 1957 to honor a member of the CMRT who has made a significant contribution to the profession and or association at the national level in the field of education. The CMRT is pleased to present this award to Christine Prechak from Manitoba. Christine has been a clinical instructor at Winnipeg's Health Sciences Centre since 2008 and has played a part in the education of every second year radiography student with the Red River College. Along with her work with students, Christine is also a DI staff educator across departments at the HSC. Christine has belonged to numerous CMRT committees, past and present, including exam development and competency profile validation committees and competitive awards review. Christine has also been an instructor for the CMRT's full-length CPD course, The Chest Image. Working as a Red River College clinical instructor at Winnipeg's HSC, Christine has always been an active and passionate advocate, not only for radiological technology, but for all MRT disciplines. She has organized multimodality seminars and rotations for students. Former president of the MAMRT, Dana McTaggart, has said, Christine sets high expectations for every student she encounters to meet the demands of the profession with knowledge, competence, and professionalism. Christine has also been involved in the HSC staff education and is sought out for her input when it comes to department protocols as well as program revisions. In addition to all of this, Christine continues to tirelessly promote the profession as the chair of the Ad Hoc Committee for Self-Regulation for MRTs in Manitoba has worked collaboratively with all disciplines, including sonography, in this venture. Christine served on the MAMRT Board of Directors for nine years, consistently advocates for the profession, and has won awards for her volunteerism and support of the profession. Thank you so much for this honor. Um, I actually am just, it was very unexpected and I'm blown away to be recognized. Um, I want to thank all of those that, educators that are out there that I have worked with in the past, both on the provincial and national level. When I sat on EBC, um, working on exam validation, as well as my colleagues here in Manitoba in our clinical environment that, uh, work, that I work with every day. 
Um, I value education. I value what we provide to our students. And it is an extreme honor to be recognized with such a prestigious award. Congratulations, Christine. The Grassroots Advocacy Award was established in 2016 to honor a member of the CMRT who has made a significant contribution to the profession and or association through advocacy. The CMRT is pleased to present this award to Jordan Beal from Manitoba. Jordan works as an educational assistant in the Medical Radiological Technology Program at Red River College in Winnipeg, as well as working casually as a general duty technologist at the Percy E. Moore Hospital in Hodgson, Manitoba. Very early in his career, Jordan took a volunteer position with the MAMRT, serving on the Board of Director of Communications and Public Relations from 2014 to 2019. During this time, Jordan took the lead in many projects that helped raise the profile of the MRTs and the profession. For example, Jordan organized MRT outings to the Blue Bomber Manitoba Moose Games for MRTs, both events that included recognition of the profession by the team brought MRTs together and helped them feel a sense of pride in their profession to be recognized on such a large scale. Jordan has helped advertising through bus shelters and Tim Hortons during MRT week, has organized many inspirational and educational presenters for MAMRT educational events, and has worked with many technologists across the province to create tour stop videos as part of the Passport Tour Contest. Jordan also served on the MAMRT 90th Anniversary Committee creating and updating the events website. In his role as educational assistant at RRC, Jordan educates first year students on the importance of the professional association and encourages them to become active members. Many students have attended MAMRT events due to his encouragement and has resulted in some students also becoming volunteers after completing their education. In both of his current professional positions, Jordan conducts himself with professionalism and advocates for the MRT profession as a whole. As an educator, he helps to reinforce initiatives that help MRTs advocate for their own profession. His nominator has summed up his mindset as follows. Jordan is always willing to help out in any capacity for which he is needed. He has stepped up over many years to serve as tech support and MC during many MA MRT events. And even if he does not have an assigned task, he always ends up helping out in some capacity. Jordan has a passion for the MRT profession, but especially in the area of advocacy. Well, thank you very much. Uh, this came as uh, quite a large surprise <laughs> to me, um, mostly because I, uh, I sit on the awards committee in the Manitoba Association. So I'm actually not eligible to win any awards here. And therefore I just didn't expect uh, to get that call from uh, from Jen Carey uh, announcing that I had won the award. So I am very flattered and very humbled <laughs> to uh, to have both been nominated and and to have won um, because I'm sure that the list of people who were nominated was was quite long. So uh, again, thank you very much. And uh, as a Manitoban, a smaller province with not as many members of the CMRT, we're always. Uh, very pleased and humbled to be recognized on the national level. Congratulations, Jordan. The Outstanding Service Award honors a staff member or volunteer who has served the CMRT with dedication, integrity, and commitment to the values and mission of the CAMRT. By doing so, the individual has demonstrated long-term commitment, exceptional performance, and engagement in performing their service and has significantly influenced the success of the association and the profession. The CAMRT is pleased to present this award to Sandra Luke from Manitoba. Sandra has been involved with both the MAMRT and CAMRT for many years. At a provincial level, Sandra has served on the MAMRT Board of Directors as their Public Relations Spokesperson and MRI Representative, as well as a subcommittee working towards self-regulation. Her commitment, dedication, and leadership was recognized by her peers when she received the MAMRT's Colin Maxwell Award, the Rita Ayer Leadership Award, and the MAMRT's Life Membership Award. At the national level, Sandra has served on numerous CAMRT committees to support the highest standards of the profession, such as the Best Practice Guidelines, Certification Exam Development Committee, the Professional Practice Advisory Council, 
and the Advocacy Advisory Council. She was also a two-term member of the CMRT Board of Directors from 2014 to 2019, during which time she held the position of Treasurer and Vice President. Colleagues admire Sandra's influence and mentorship of others and have stated that Sandy has served as a shining example of volunteerism. Many of those she has influenced are early in their careers and her encouragement and leadership has helped to foster long-term involvement in the professional associations for these MRTs. Sandy has volunteered throughout her career and her work with many CAMRT committees and the CAMRT Board of Directors has inspired other MRTs to strive for the same. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank the CMRT um, for awarding me with the Outstanding Service Award. Um, I was very surprised, humbled and honoured. Um, it is a very good feeling to have your dedication to your profession recognised by your peers. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Sandy. The Welch Memorial Lecture was established in 1951 to honor Mr. Herbert M. Welch, one of the pioneer members of the association. To be chosen to deliver this lecture is a great honor and is bestowed upon a member of the CMRT who has made an outstanding contribution to the profession at a national level. The recipient must have influenced the growth of the profession in clinical practice, education, research, and or administration. The Welch Memorial Lecture may be on the lecturer's topic of choice. In 2020, this award was presented to Nicole Jenkins from Newfoundland, and we will have the great, great pleasure of hearing her lecture in this year's conference program. Nicole is a champion of lifelong learning, preceptor to countless students, and has delivered an impressive list of presentations. She has influenced and delivered education locally and nationally. A champion for learning, she exemplifies the philosophy that every issue, concern, or experience can be a learning opportunity, where MRTs can improve themselves and their practice, rather than feel shame or embarrassment. Nicole is a co-founder of the Atlantic MRT Conference with the mandate for putting the technologist before the technology. There is so much more to be said about Nicole's accomplishments I know firsthand because she's one of my best friends <laughs> and we hope that you can join us in celebrating her and attending her lecture as our opening keynote speaker. Oh wow, thank you. Thank you so much. I just want to give an amazing thank you to the CMRT and the CMRT Awards Committee for honoring me this year with the Welsh Memorial Lecture. I cannot say thank you enough to my beautiful friend, Megan, and you know, she had, you know, nominated me for this award. And, you know, I just, I am so honored and I'm so humbled. I have had the great pleasure of working for the last 15 years as an MRT in many different roles. And I can tell you that, you know, this recognition is the highlight of my career. I could not have imagined being where I am today, you know, without standing on the shoulders of some amazing, amazing people. And, you know, I have looked to my, my peers and my professional colleagues across this country who have supported me, who allowed me to take all of my crazy ideas and you know, they just just helped, you know, bring those ideas to fruition. And I do not profess to have done anything extraordinary. I am, you know, just very proud to be an MRT. Everything that I have done in my career has been to elevate who we are, to bring awareness to who we are, and to make all of us realize that, you know, we have a role in advocating for who we are. And, you know, I think that that is what has moved me the most. So thank you very, very much. Um, I am forever grateful for this honor. Congratulations, Nicole. Love you, girl. Every year, the president is granted the privilege of presenting a special award 
the President's Medal to a person or a group of their choosing who in their professional opinion has contributed considerably to the association, the profession, or to the President in fulfilling their duties. It is my immense pleasure to present this award to Linda Goff from Ontario. Linda is the queen of regulation. And if you're having a conversation with anyone about the regulation of the MRT profession and her name doesn't come up, you're talking to the wrong people. I can distinctly remember in 2012, I was just getting my feet wet with uh, provincial association involvement. And uh, Linda was a huge source of education for me about regulation. And she did it in a way that was compassionate and that was wise. She uh, bestowed her knowledge to us without even asking. And since then, she has been generous with her support and encouragement. And I am pleased to be able to call her friend. Well, thank you, Jen, uh, for this amazing award. I was so surprised um, when you called me and said that I would be receiving it. And it's been such a joy working with you over the last couple of decades, maybe, maybe about 10, 15 years we've been working together um, in the regulation of the profession and in the policy and leadership areas. And Jen is just so wonderful. She is professional, intelligent. She's a great leader and very dedicated to the profession and all the MRTs. And uh, so thank you, um, Jen, again, for this wonderful award. And I will treasure it. Thank you. Congratulations, Linda. Knowing that there's a group out there that is working in the best interest of the field, providing support, providing educational opportunities. Um, these are all things that makes the association so important. My best days as an MRT um, professionally tend to be uh, when I have uh, made a difference in patient care. So this could be as simple as a patient just thanking you for their time in the hospital, or it could be solving a complex problem that leads to a change in a patient's care that's positive. My advice to MRTs who are just starting their career is to always put your patients first. Um, our technology is continually changing too, and keeping up with it can be a challenge, um, but it is, uh, it is exciting uh, with the changes that we always see. Uh, you learn something new every day and you face new challenges to overcome, so I can never get bored as a nuclear medicine technologist. At this time, I would like to share a bittersweet moment with you all, the recognition of an outgoing board member. This year, we recognize a special MRT that has made exceptional contributions to the profession through her tenure on the CMRT Board of Directors. Susan Fawcett, RTT, who served on our board from 2015 to 2021. Thank you very much for your service. Uh, Susan, you are a source of wisdom and intelligence, and your opinions and perspectives will be sorely missed. Thank you so much for your professionalism and your many contributions. And with that, we conclude the 2021 Celebration of Excellence. Thank you to our Awards of Excellence sponsors, Bracco Imaging Canada, Advanced Accelerator Applications, and Insight Medical Imaging. And a special thank you to our awards title sponsor, Johnson Insurance. We appreciate you taking the time and watch, celebrate, and recognize the incredible achievements and contributions of our winners with us. Thanks so much.